I don't even know how I made it through this day. My kids, they don't listen. They don't listen to anything I say right now. And I spend more time disciplining and redirecting and explaining why they shouldn't be doing what they are doing more than I'm teaching. Good morning, it's Friday and I didn't film yesterday because I didn't wake up till 6.30 and I usually leave my apartment at 6.30 and my memory card was still in my computer from the night before where I was editing and I just had to get out of the door as quickly as possible so I left my camera at home. But we're here today and we are so glad it's Friday. We made it. Friday. Friday. We made a little stop this morning, didn't we? Where Dunkin' was, Donuts. We went to Dunkin' Donuts, and we haven't been to Dunkin' Donuts in a long time. So it was a nice treat for today. And doesn't Paisley look so cute? Look at her outfit. See the back and her hair bow. So I'm gonna unpack because I haven't done that yet. We just literally walked in. And I need to work on my newsletter because I left here yesterday without having that done and those go home on Friday. So yeah, happy Friday and I'll see you guys in a little while. Paisley has chocolate on her cheek from your donut. There's baby wipes right there on the counter. I'm not a baby. Baby wipes, I mean baby wipes aren't just for babies. I know. Synonyms. What does that mean? Synonyms are the same. Which one of these words means the same as end? Finish. So is your choice A? Yes. Turn it over. You got it right, so you get to move four spaces. One, two, three, four. Oh, don't eat this one. Oh, good one. Uh, it all together. I've got a short. Two. Friday is my favorite day of the week, but Fridays, everybody thinks rules don't apply, I guess. It has been so crazy in here. My kids have been out of their seat. They've been talking. They've not been getting their work done. They've been off task. It has just been a very stressful morning, and I've taken so many points on Dojo today, and I just don't know what else to do, so I'm just trying to get by right now. But uh, at the end of, well, at the end of the school year, our PTO has rented some inflatables to go out on the playground and each teacher can decide how they want to use the inflatables, like having a goal for their class. And then if the students meet that goal, then they get to do the inflatables. And so for my class, the whole month of May and then the first full week of June, they have to have 95% or more on their percentage on Dojo to be able to participate. And if they lose points, then their percentage goes down. And so to get the percentage back up, they have to earn lots of positive points. And I've taken so many points today. I only have like maybe, I haven't looked in a, a day or so, but a handful like five maybe that have 95 percent and some of the others can get there they're just it's not intrinsic like they're not intrinsically motivated to do it and so i guess whenever the inflatable day rolls around and they don't get to go out there they'll know why but yeah i had to take a bunch of points away this morning it was just it was just craziness and i have a tutor that comes in for 30 minutes and I also have my assistant who comes in for 30 minutes and they were both just like oh my gosh your class is wild today so anyways it's just been a rough morning but it's Friday hallelujah and I read the next two chapters in our book today Edward Tulane oh my gosh you guys I love that book I always cry at the end 
and no matter if I wait, like read a little bit and then wait and read the last, the last chapter on one day, it never fails. I always get teary eyed. So go get the book, go read it. You will love it. I, I love it. And I also saw the book in our scholastic book order for this month for a paperback copy is $4. So I sent a message to my parents telling them about it. And that if they wanted to order the book for their child, then they could send the $4 in and I would order it for them. So I have three kids who are going to get the book. No, four kids. So that is super exciting and they'll get to have their own, very own personal copy. But we are having lasagna today for lunch and I did not bring my lunch. So I'm gonna go get some lasagna because our school's lasagna is amazing. And then when my kids get back, they are going to have their celebration. So they brought electronics and toys and different things to do for earning their blue paws. They got 20 and every time they get 20, then I let them choose some sort of reward, like not, you know, not snacks or treats or anything like that, but something free that they wanna do. And they always choose to bring their own device or toy. So they are gonna be doing that after lunch. I'm gonna give them 30 minutes or so, and then they have computer lab. So I'm gonna go eat, and I've been working on my newsletter this morning, but it's not quite finished. So I will be doing that while they are in computer lab today and I will touch base with you guys then. Let's see what I added that dot. And there's even her own little bit. You start off number one, then you get to number two, then you get to number three. Okay, I know, I know. Thank you. Then to a battle one. I don't even know how I made it through this day. My kids, they don't listen. They don't listen to anything I say right now. And I spend more time disciplining and redirecting and explaining why they shouldn't be doing what they are doing more than I'm teaching. Yes, I realize it's almost the end of the year and we have like 13 days left, but why? Yesterday afternoon when I got back from dropping car riders off, I walked around and picked up all the pencils that were laying on the floor, and this is what I found. Look at this. Um, no eraser. Someone snapped this one in half and I found out who it was and she told me it was because she was mad. I don't know what that one is. Another one without any eraser. Two-sided. That's why they're taking the erasers off. Another one without any eraser, another one without any eraser. And I would have arthritis in my hands if I tried to write with this. So I had a little heart to heart with my class this morning about using pencils correctly and not taking the eraser off and not sharpening both ends and not breaking them. And there was another one, I don't know what happened to it, but it looked like someone had taken their scissors and like scraped off the yellow. So that took 15 minutes of my morning. I'm just trying to get by right now, y'all, and I'm so glad it's Friday because I just need a day away from these kids. They are driving me crazy. They're driving me crazy. They're driving each other crazy. They're driving the other teachers crazy. So, luckily it's Friday, and I made sure that they left the room cleaner today than they did yesterday. But I am going to work on my math plans for next week. Next week we are taking our second graders swimming for swimming lessons for an hour each morning so I won't be having my lip block. Monday is Memorial Day and we have school on Memorial Day. Most people don't but we do and it's a makeup for snow day. It is an early release which is good but um 
Monday morning we have a Memorial Day program in the auditorium, so we won't be doing our lip block. And our wise groups are over, our small group, um, Title I groups is what they are. They're over, so we won't be having any more of those. So I'm going to do a Scholastic News next week. And then science, I need to print some stuff or copy some stuff for our map unit. And we won't have math on Monday, so I need to plan math for Tuesday through Friday next week. And we won't have lit block every day because we'll be swimming every day. So I'm going to work on that. I do have a few things I need to grade. I have uh, an email I need to make. I need to make a few phone calls. And yeah, so I'm gonna work on that. And then Paisley and I are gonna go over to my mom and dad's tonight and spend some time over there. She's upstairs right now playing with her friends. So she's not in here. And yeah, so I'll touch base with you guys when we get ready to head out. I was reading and I was like, oh, she got it for her kids. What'd you get? This. The gym teacher gave Paisley a Kids Bop CD today, and it has some pretty good songs on it. Yeah. We might have to listen to it in the car Thunder, on the way home. Look at what you made me do. Feel it still. No promises. Havana. What about us? Bad at love. Perfect. How long? New rules. Too good. Too good at goodbyes. Ready for it. Good old days. Well, I am leaving this place because I'm over it, and I'm all packed up. My counter is somewhat clean. And we are going to head over to my parents' house. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Be sure to click on the thumbs up button down below this video to let me know if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos from me. 13 more days of school. I hope that I can make it. Say a little prayer for me. So, have a good weekend and we will see you guys on... Monday. Bye. Ooh, look at what was in this. Um. Oh, I get to go to Legoland. That's here. This. Yeah, no, I'm sweaty. <laughs>